everyone, we still have another four minutes to go. So we're just going to wait for all our friends to join in. Uh, till that time, definitely you can say hi to us. We already see some highs in our question area. So really beautiful. And thank you, Patrick, for joining us as well. Hello, Patrick. All right, just starting off the day with a you know mute challenge as usual, which is the, the beauty of remote work, is it not? But yes, good, glad to be here and uh, excited to join in on the session with version. Absolutely, thank you so much. I know we had a little confusion with the daylight saving and suddenly the timing shifted of the webinar, but still, thank you so much for making up and thank you to all the participants joining us from ESD time zone. I know the webinar was supposed to be at 9.30 a.m., but daylight saving changed and it became 8.30 for you guys. So I, we understand it's super early, but we really appreciate of you guys being here right now. Okay, so three more minutes to the party. So Patrick, could you just please confirm for me that we are seeing the slide share right now of decisions? Yeah, looking good. See the title card ready to go. <laughs> Perfect. So uh, guys, before we start, just want to let you know, guys, that you guys are on mute right now and you can't turn on your video, which is a good thing for you actually, that you can sit cross light. You can even stay in bed if you want to, and you can have your coffee and tea with you. If you feel like you can use the solutions by our side, if you're okay with it, if not, you like our faces, you can still just keep looking at us, look at decisions, what we are doing, and you can just keep following. Uh, we will be sharing recording after this session, so you can go through all the features at your own convenient time. Every feature that we will be taking care on today is available in our knowledge base. So don't worry about taking those nasty notes here. You can just simply go to our knowledge base, type the keywords, so anything that we are taking care of here, will be is available in a support article with details. And even after that, nothing works, nothing's going on. You're still not finding any feature, reach out to us. We love your emails. Believe me, it brings us a huge smile when our customers reach out to us. And uh, Patrick and I always have a competition that who has a brighter smile, but let's just make it, reach out to us in case you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer. So, I think Patrick, so we can definitely move forward. I know we are just like one minute away. So um, what do you say we should wait? Let's just wait another minute if it's okay. We can, we can show our faces still one minute. In the meantime, you guys, feel free to say hi to us. Uh, if you have never seen us, a quick introduction about me. Uh, I come from Decisions Customer Support Team. My name is Varsha and I take care of the customer education side at Decisions. So we are coming up with a lot of other webinars as well in the month of November. Please do go ahead, reach out to our education page. There are amazing articles available and amazing webinars coming up. Sign up for them. They come with your subscription with decisions. So they are absolutely free for our customers. Please go ahead and sign up for them and learn the product. And we hope you fall in love with our product the way we love it because we absolutely love our product. And we want to make sure that you love us in the same way. So uh, I know enough of me talking and I love to talk. That's the issue. So that's why I'm here. But uh, let's just change the title of this meeting and let's just call it Happy Reoccurring Meetings with Decisions. I don't want to make it like any educational boring webinar for you. I know you all hate that. We all go through those boring webinars. So I'm going to make sure that I embarrass myself. I'm going to throw all the poor jokes at you guys. If you want to laugh, you can. If you don't want to laugh, absolutely up to you. I am okay with it. But I want you to enjoy today with decisions. I don't want you to have any educational webinar today. I just want you to enjoy with us and just see what all cool features we have to offer. You know, we have good features. I really want you to see that. <laughs> okay, enough said. Let's get the party started. I always say it's a party because uh, with decisions, meetings are fun and your meetings should be fun here. So I understand that we all have this love and hate relationship with meetings. Some like it, some don't like it. 
but what tops our meetings is a reoccurring meeting because it comes knocking at your door every week every month and it's there at decisions we can't promise you that this relationship will change we can't promise that but one thing that we can promise from decision side is that your lot of your time will be saved a lot of your automations can be handled a lot of your data can be stay at one place so you don't have to go through those sticky notes your notepads if you still have it at your table i know we all are old school right now we still have it but you don't have to go through that we can make sure that all your data stays at one place with decisions why we before i move forward just one last thing in here while you were filling out the registration form I, you, if you remember, we asked you to fill out the educational level or where you stand with decisions. It's very important. Thank you for taking that extra step with us because that helps us to understand where your education lies at what level you are with decisions. And today we have equal participants from zero to five and five to 10 level. So for, especially for the decision users who are at level seven and eight right now, if and you are here at decision in this webinar right now we're going to go slow so i understand that you might see some of the features that you're already aware of you very well know it but still we're going to go slow for our friends who is under that level right now okay so we're going to go in super detail but i promise that we're going to go really slow so to get started with any reoccurring meeting, the first and the foremost thing that you need to do is that create a meeting. So you're gonna just come up to your calendar. You can create meeting from any two areas. You can come from Microsoft Teams or you can come from Micro Outlook. Absolutely up to you where you feel most comfortable with. Today, I am creating a meeting through Microsoft Teams right now. I come in here and I create a quick meeting. So for example, at 8.30, I want a meeting to be created. Today, we're gonna to be creating a meeting of my customer success team meeting. That's gonna be a reoccurring meeting we'll be doing. But if you like, if you wanna create like a board meeting, a staff meeting, a project meeting, feel free to utilize these features into that. If you get confused, you're not sure that, okay, how to move forward, reach out to us, we'll be happy to help. So, uh, very simple, when you are creating a reoccurring meeting, simply put up a title in here that, okay, hey, my meeting name may be customer team meeting. I'm gonna call it the test right now because I don't want my friends to get confused. I'm just gonna invite quick attendees in here. So maybe I want Patrick, Manubhav. So these are all our uh, CS team in here. I'm just inviting some of my friends to this meeting to move forward. Whenever you're creating a reoccurring meeting, you just have to come to this uh, drop down menu and just select that, okay, what's gonna be the repetition of these meetings. For now, for this meeting, I'm just gonna select daily here. I'm just gonna put up an end date. Uh, maybe I just want it to end on January 31st and I'm gonna simply hit save and I'm gonna send it. Once your reoccurring meeting is created, that's where you move to decisions to create the other part, the agenda and other but once you are getting started with decisions, the first uh, tip that we always like to give to our customer is, is always make sure that decision is available in your team stars bar. That is really, really helpful. If you do not have it, if you don't have it, simply click on these three dot buttons in your team stars bar in find an app, simply search for the app decisions. You will see here right on top when you do when it's installed, simply click on your team stars bar and you will be able to access the decisions app. Once you do that, oh, another quick recommendation in here that always just right click it and just make sure that it's pinned so that you do not have to repeat this step every single time that you come to your Teams. Decision is always there for you. So when decision is downloaded in Teams, you can see all the meetings that you have created or you have been invited to. Even you have a past filter, like you can just simply go and check that, okay, all what all meetings I have been invited to or I have created. If in case you're not able to find the meeting that you're looking for, you can use our search functionality here, or you can use utilize the filter option. So as you can see, this is the meeting that I just created that's called customer team meeting, and uh, we just called it test. When you're gonna click on this meeting, you will notice there's a split view 
just right inside of my meeting that has certain options like create agenda, suggest a topic, my notes, request topics. Like the name suggests, it is the feature that can help you to have a more collaborative team meeting because we all understand that meetings are fun when it is done with our colleagues, right? Because you just don't want to create an agenda for yourself. So it's, it's really beautiful that your colleagues can come in or your team members can come in. They can suggest a topic, what they would like to talk about or what they want to talk about with you. And also you can request topics with them. So if somebody is not proactively coming and requesting topics, you can just request topics from them. Also you can utilize the session for creating your own notes. We're not gonna go into my notes in detail here. We have a separate webinar for it. Check out those webinars and register for them. But you also have my notes functionality in which you can create your personal notes for per meeting, which are your personal, nobody else can see them. And we also give you certain templates option here as well. So in case you can, uh, if you are super confused, you have no idea from where to begin, you can go through our suggested templates as well. In today's meeting, I am gonna go in detail and I'm literally gonna create agenda with you so that you learn it with me today. Uh, and in case you have any questions, like I said, please go ahead and please ask. So once I click on create agenda meeting, system's gonna ask me two options. Now, this is something that's only gonna happen if you have a re upring meeting. Now, this is where decision brings the, like a, literally a game changing feature. Standing agenda is literally like one agenda for all your meetings. So all the occurrences in a series can be taken care at once and you can just create an agenda for all your meetings. So even if you have meetings like in 2023 end, if you have a board meeting or you have a team meeting and you want that, okay, hey, for these particular meetings, we want this type of agenda to go. We have this format, we need to stick to it. You can just create the standing agenda for all those meetings. Once I click on standing agenda, if you have been a decision user, you must be aware about Every screen, if not, just a quick introduction about it that when you are creating any agenda with decision, system's going to ask you where will your meeting will be saved to yourself. It's important, um, just a second. I'm just going to quickly turn off. Patrick, can you hear me perfectly? Just want to be sure here. Yep, I can hear you now. So yeah, I'm wondering if maybe if you disable it, uh, yeah, there might help. Great, thanks. Okay, perfect. So we can just go ahead and we can select a uh, storage location for it. So maybe in my case, I want to select the welcome to decision storage location, and then I can move forward. When I click next, I reach to the screen where I can get started and when I can create my agenda in detail. So if you can see on the screen, I see all these options of writing title, description, presenter, and time as well. If you want, you can select a template as well. In today's meeting, we're not gonna select template because we have certain users who are just still starting. So uh, we're just gonna create the agenda in detail in here. So you can just come in here and you can just type uh, title in here, like maybe feedings. And sorry guys, I know there was a slight glitch uh, because of which you were not able to hear me. I think it should be perfect now. And you can just write a description about it. Uh, and then you can just assign the time that, okay, maybe I just wanna come here for five minutes and maybe I want Varsha to give that presentation. So you can just put it up all this in agenda format that, okay, hey, this is gonna be where we start. This is how the beginnings will be. And I can just simply save it as a draft. This is like saving the first part of the agenda. I'm gonna just give it a some time while it saves. And then I can just simply move forward. I can just keep clicking on this plan add icon and I can keep adding the agendas here. So maybe the second agenda item that we wanna take care of is matrix, uh, analytics that if there's any data that you want to go through if there's any data or uh, dashboard that you have you can just go through that and again i can just assign a presenter for this case and i can just simply sorry i think it didn't save 
no problem. And I can just simply save it and I can call it maybe it's just going to go for 10 minutes in here and I can simply save. This is how you can just keep creating the agendas and once you feel like that you have done a pretty job, you, your entire agenda is created. I know in here we have just only created two agendas, but for the time being, uh, you can simply, if it looks all okay to you, you can simply click on this button called Publish Agenda and your agenda will be published. But before I do that, there's a very important setting that I want to show you here. It says send updated meeting invitation with the link to agenda. Very beautiful feature and a very important feature. What it's going to do is that once you publish this agenda, the meeting invitation that you sent earlier, that will be updated with your agenda summarized version. So the cool thing about it is, I'm, I'm just going to quickly show it to you as well. Um, if I can just quickly pull my Outlook here. Okay, uh, this is not yet updated. Just give me a quick second here. I'm going to refresh my screen really quick. Okay, this is not the meeting, um, the customer success team meeting. Perfect. So this is what I wanted to show you guys that whenever you're going to open your team invite any attendee, any members who's going to open this team invite, they will already see your cast like the agenda option right there. And the beautiful thing about it is that whenever an invite you're going to open this meeting and they're going to click on view agenda, they will land on the most updated meeting. So maybe imagine it in January. I come to this calendar and I open the meeting that's coming up and I click on that. The view agenda button is going to take you to the most updated meeting. Like So for me, the next time is November 9 at 9.30 p.m. That would be my next meeting. So it is taking directly to me that to that meeting. So if I open it in like maybe December, it's going to work accordingly. OK. Perfect. Anytime you create series, you work with reoccurring meetings, uh, Decision has another this really good feature that is really helpful for you that automatically a side panel is created that has all the meetings that's going to happen in your series. So all the occurrences that is included will be right here that you can just simply go to any of the number and you can just see that, okay, hey, what happened on maybe 10th of November? What the minutes that we created? What were the tasks in there? What was the agenda? So you can just go through all those agendas right in. So you can simply click on series if you want to make any changes or you can go to the particular meeting. But in here, I'm going to just take a slight pause and I'm going to check with Patrick if we have any questions before I move any forward. Uh, we, have, we do have a, quite a number of questions, so uh, keep them coming for okay. sure. We're ans I'm answering some uh, in the chat, but there are two at least here that I think sort of, you might be getting into this in a second, but I'll ask this question anyway. So I believe it's uh, Andarius uh, is asking how, how do they edit the agenda if they have different topics? So you've talked about creating the standing agenda, but then if future agendas um, you know, don't follow the exact same thing, how do you adjust those? Absolutely. I'm going to just try to uh, turn on my video as well, just in case. And if it doesn't work, I'm just going to turn it off again. Good question, first of all. Absolutely great. And this is something that we were already planning to cover, but since you've already asked, it's a great question. With creating a standing agenda, though create an agenda for every single occurrence, but Stisto will still give you an option that you can go to a particular meeting and you can edit it. So it will not stop you. So even if you have a created agenda, but on 9th of November, there are certain agenda items that needs to be taken care of, you still can and you can add those agendas right here. You can make those changes. Another great thing is that even uh, if you want to make changes to any entire series, even after the agenda is published, if you make any changes to the series as well, for example, if I come in here in Matrix Analytics, I just say that, okay, hey, test description, and I save it, automatically these changes will be added to all meetings. So it's just a quick way to uh, add anything to entire meetings, or as well as you can just, as you can see, it's already updated, as well as, each meeting will be updated as well. Okay. Uh, moving forward, 
Oh, Patrick, oh, sorry. Any other question that you want to yeah, answer actually, right now? I do yes. think there was one other. So what uh, what about if you're inviting somebody who is outside the organization? How might that affect standing agenda or really all agendas within decisions? Okay, excellent question again. Uh, so whenever you are inviting any external guest or guest attendee in here, I just want to show you right here. So as you can see, Patrick and Kevin are my guest attendees at the moment because they are not part of the team in which I'm creating the agenda right now. So they will be taken, considered as a guest attendee or external guest. It can be outside your organization or they can be outside your team. In this case, uh, you can simply go to your these three lines on top and you click on manage access in here. And the system will ask you how much access you want to give them to your external attendees. I'm going to just turn on my video here because it just looks like there's a glitch. Okay. And then you can click, uh, you can just simply click on the full agenda and you can give them the access that they should have an edit access or they just should have a view access and then you can just simply hit apply. Any changes that you will make to the series will be uh, applicable to every single meeting as well. Okay. Any other question, Patrick, before we move forward? Uh, I think there's a few, but we'll hold and pause on them because I think you're going to get to a couple. Of them. Okay. That seems like a good idea. If there's any questions, we will definitely be staying after the meeting as well. So like in the last 10 minutes, we can take care of all those questions. So uh, let's move forward and talk about another thing in here that when you are on this uh, customer team meeting, there might be a scenario where your invitees are suggesting topics to you. So they come in here or they from in the invite, they are like, okay, hey guys, I want to suggest something or topic that I feel that should be definitely be covered in all our meetings. Uh, a fun, well, and it's a very funny story, but uh, Patrick has it. And sorry, Patrick, that I'm sharing this information with everyone here, but Patrick always forgets to record our team meetings. So he has literally an agenda item that says record team meeting. So let's just take that example in here. And maybe I want to suggest that okay, we should have literally an agenda item to record team meeting for everyone. In here, I'm just going to assign a time zero because we don't want to take any time in here. Uh, for this agenda item and I just simply hit send. Uh, the organizer of the team will be notified from the email as well as the team chat that okay, hey, our suggestion has been made for your meeting. So when I go ahead and I click on create a channel, you would notice that this is how the suggestion looks like. So in whatever the team the suggestion was make, you will see the suggestion right here under that team. Also, you will see the exact same suggestion under the series as well. The reason we provide you these both the option is that in case if it's per meeting suggestion, you can accept it in that meeting. But if you feel like that, okay, it's a very good suggestion. It is a suggestion that should be a change that should be made to all the meetings that's coming forward. You can just accept the suggestion item for the entire series as well. So absolutely up to you how you want to take care of it. Uh, moving forward to the suggestion item, anytime a suggestion has been made, you can go ahead and either you can approve it. So once you approve, the system is going to ask you that, okay, do you want to add that suggestion to the agenda item and notify the person who has suggested? As well as you can just simply click on these three dots and you can reject the suggestion. If you click on reject, the system will ask you, do you want to notify the person who suggested or you want to leave any comments that the reason you rejected the suggestion here. One more thing that the decision gives you an option is called meeting planner. Very beautiful feature. I think I need to stop using beautiful because I think every feature is a beautiful. So I will stop saying beautiful now, promise. So. Um, we also have a feature called move to meeting planner. It's like a bucket. If you feel like that, okay, this is a great suggestion and it's a good agenda item, but I can't use it right now at this moment. I, I want to use it in my future meetings or the upcoming meetings. You can just add these suggestion items in the meeting planner. How it's going to help you is that in the upcoming meetings, if you want to use them again, you can simply come to any of your meetings and this suggestion can be used in any of the meetings. So irrespective, that's the, Again, a good thing about meeting planner. 
So if you click on the drop down menu in here, if you can see on the screen, you have an option called import from meeting planner. You can utilize this option in here. It's going to show you all the backlogs that you have, that all the agenda items you have moved into this bucket. You can use any of these and you can, for example, I'm like, okay, our record team meeting is the agenda item that I want to use and I want to move it to my meeting. Once I do that, it will ask me, do you want to mark it as completed? Now, another important option here. If you want to make sure that I want to reuse this agenda item in some other meetings as well, so I don't want to mark it as completed, you can uncheck it and you can import. So this agenda item will be imported in your particular meeting that you are working upon. As well as it will still be there in your meeting planner. As you can see, it's right here. But if I use it and I mark it as completed, the system understand that you have used this agenda item. You don't want to use it any longer. It, so the backlog is completed. In that case, it will be removed from your meeting planner automatically. Okay. Can be can be a little overwhelming at the start, but as soon as you like as frequently as you're going to use decisions in your meetings, it's going to become very smooth. So please don't worry about any confusions in here. Rest, start reoccurring meeting agendas and normal meetings agenda is no different. If you're going to click on any of your meetings, st things still remains completely same. If you click on these three lines, all the options are still the same. Like you can request meeting feedback after the meeting that, okay, hey, how was the meeting? How did it go? If you want to notify anyone, if you want to create presentations out of your agenda, everything that was previously there in your meeting is going to still be there. It's just the additional pointer that you can create a standing agenda for all your occurrences at once. I'm just going to show you one quick thing about the CV. So I'm going to actually open a live customer success team meeting agenda that we actually use our end. So this will help you see that, okay, hey, this is how we do it our end. Uh, before I move forward, this is just want to show you that uh, for your every reoccurring meeting, if you have an agenda, the split view slightly changes. And this is how it looks like that it's going to be added with an agenda summary. OK. So if I click on view agenda in here, uh, see the joke that I was telling you about. We still have this agenda item that tells us we need to record the meeting. But and okay, I'm going uh, to need I'm going to need that forever. I just want to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Patrick. So this is what I wanted to show you. This is the reason I was showing you. So this is actually how we use our agenda. Absolutely, really cool. It's it's just really helpful for us to stay on track. And you can utilize something similar for your meetings as well. Even you can use it in our one on ones like Patrick and I, if and we connect, we have our own agenda as well, where we talk about items. I suggest him items that this is what I want to talk about so that he can be prepared before coming to our meetings. Uh, I wanted to show you the side panel in here for this meeting that as you will notice that if you have created any minutes in the meeting, so automatically this meeting series will show a minute tile in here that, okay, hey, there was a minute created for this meeting. If you want to see what was it and how it went by. If any changes has been made to any meeting from the series agenda, it's going to come up with a blue dot. It's really helpful to tell you that, okay, hey, there was a change made in this meeting from the series meeting. Okay. Also, another very cool thing that I wanted to show you here, and this is one of the feature that I absolutely take a lot of pride in that our product team actually thought about it in this way. When, for example, it happens that you have a meeting series going on and one, on one of the occurrences, the meeting couldn't take place. Maybe it was a festival or you have to change it to Wednesday to Thursday, any updation has been made. System will not delete your meeting from the meeting series. It will still keep it there. It's just going to come up with an I option in top and it's just going to tell you that, okay, hey, this meeting is just no longer part of the series. So that your data stays intact, your agenda does not get deleted. And if there's any uh, task or decision that you want to look through, you can. So if the, any meeting has an agenda, it will just show, but just with an I icon telling you that, okay, hey, this meeting is no longer part of a series. This is all about standing agenda and how you can use it for creating your meetings. But just wanted to let you know that even if you do not want to use standing agenda, you want to have like a normal meeting, want to create like a simple meeting in here uh, with create agenda. We still give you an option in here that 
there's a school pattern that says okay give me a quick second it, it was wrong me right Sorry guys, we still have like so many meetings open, so it can get confusing right now. Yes. So even if you are in a normal meeting, we still have this option of selecting template. So you still can have save these templates. These templates could be your team meeting based, your personal templates in your OneDrive, and you can go through your organizational wide templates as well. And you can use them in your meetings that can save a lot more of time instead of creating each agenda every single time. And I'm going to take a pause and that's all I wanted to cover in reopening meeting. Of course, there is a lot more we can talk about, but due to time, we're going to stop in here. These are the most important features that you need to get started with reopening meeting. But I'm going to take all the questions right now. Like, uh, Patrick, uh, you want to get started here? Yeah, I think we got a, a couple, uh, got a lot of uh, consistent questions. So that's good. Um, that's one good. is that people would love if we could take one more minute and just go back and reshow the difference of editing a uh, the series agenda and an individual agenda, just to really hone in on that one more time. Okay. Sorry, guys, if I was a little fast in that. Uh, in here, if you click on series in here. And I'm realizing that there's probably one of the things that we might have seen is there's a little bit of a lag. Yeah, there. So we might even see that click, but right. Yeah, right up in that top left, the series button. Thank you, Patrick. So, you know, uh, Patrick, this is very funny, but your system and your Internet works perfect. But you are in when you're on webinar, your system wants to embarrass you. But Always okay. the way. Always the way. So you click on these series. Uh, this is now your series agenda. So if it's highlighted in blue, if you click on series, this is going to be your series agenda. If I click on add here and make any change, uh, maybe test agenda. This is the agenda changes that I'm making to all the occurrences for this series. So if I save it here, as you can see, it's automatically updated in my rest of my meetings. But if I am in my particular meeting, so for example, in 10th of November, I want to make any change. I'll, I'm going to click on that meeting itself, not on series. I'm going to click on that meeting and then I'm going to add anything. So if I'm going to make any changes to the 10th November, this is an agenda change that has only been made to this meeting and this will automatically deduct it from series and this will not go back to series. So it will not impact any of the series changes, as you can see. The change was only in 10th of November. I hope that's clear. I, yeah, I think that was great to be able to go through that one more time. And again, this is a good example where if you'd like us to you know, talk through a specific use case with you for recurring meetings, or you want a little bit more in depth, don't hesitate to reach out to us, support at meetingdecisions.com, and we'll, we'll get back to you. Um, did get one other question I want to try to address here while we have um, have some time is suggestions. So if somebody suggests something to a recurring meeting agenda, is it suggested to the series? Is it suggested to an individual? Can can people choose? How, do, how does suggestions work? Patrick, uh, great question. Like I explained in the meeting as well, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show it again, but whenever you suggest any item, it's available in both the places, in meeting as well, as well as in series absolutely up to you if you want to add that suggestion to the entire series or you just want to add it to a particular meeting if time allows i can just show it to you one more time i'm going to try to make it very quick in here so if i make any suggestions test suggest just simply send to organizers and members and i click on view agenda you would notice that this suggestion is sent to both the places. The team, it is in the team meeting that it was suggested as well as in series. Now it is up to the organizer if the person wants to approve it for entire series or just want to approve it in a meeting. If you approve it in the meeting, it will no longer be available in series. Uh, Patrick, was that awesome. yeah. yeah, I think that, that was an awesome answer. So I know we're up against time here. Um, a couple questions we've gotten. How will people get the recording? Uh, right after 
well, shortly after uh, the session has ended, it will be automatically sent to you. I uh, did get a couple pieces of feedback that some, some folks had trouble accessing the, uh, the webinar um, due to some technological challenges on, on their side. So if you uh, don't get the recording or you um, just need help, again, reach out to us and uh, we'll be happy to get that to you. And there are several other questions. Unfortunately, we didn't get the time to answer, um, but we are very diligent about getting back to you. So for those folks who uh, I either told you we'd get back to you or, I, or your question was not uh, uh, answered, uh, we, will, we will do our best to get in touch. Definitely. Uh, definitely, I can see there are a lot of questions, but please don't worry. If you have asked us a question, I will definitely get back to you over an email to answer that question to you. So don't worry, your question will not go unanswered. And I will try to explain it as much as I can over an email. If not, I'll be, like I said, I'm happy to connect with you. So don't worry on that. I will reach out to you and try to get it. So thank you so much for your time. Please feel free to register for the other webinars as well. And I hope my system does not embarrass me again, but I love to see you guys. Thank you for coming to this webinar. It's such a great attendance. We love you and I hope you fall in love with the product like we love it. Bye-bye.